This is the plaintiff, Allison McDonald. She says she gave the defendant a deposit on a smart car, but then found out it would cost too much to insure, and she asked for her money back. The defendant told her he spent it already. She called the cops who told her he was committing grand larceny because he has her money and the product, and she's suing him here and now for the return of her hard-earned $1,500. This is the defendant, Tyler DeSantis. He says the weird plaintiff says she wants the car one minute and then doesn't want it the next, and back and forth she went for a few weeks. Finally, he told her he was done with all the indecisiveness. He's not going to take a loss due to her indecisiveness and feels he owes her nothing. He's accused of not being smart about a car. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket, the plaintiff plunked down money for a smart car, but the insurance was sky high, and now he can't get his deposit back. But the defendant says she went back and forth for weeks, and he's out. It's the case of the dumb car. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, Allison man. McDonald, you are suing Tyler DeSantis for a $1,500 deposit that you put in a car that you changed your mind about. Tell me about that. I wanted to purchase the car. I gave him the deposit of $1,500. Two days later, I called them back and said that I couldn't purchase the car because they wanted too much money to insure it. I only pay $137 a month for insurance on my car. This car was going to cost me $800 a month. What insurance. kind of car was this? It was a smart car. What does that mean? It's a that little two-door car. It's a two-seater so, car. It's a Mercedes-Benz. Like uh, it's, it's a compact car, I guess, like 50 miles a gallon. It's small. Give a you picture? Have, That's right. It's tiny. Did you it's sell tiny. it? Is it really Eventually... I, yeah, I have a picture. The yellow one. Yep. Oh, those tiny little things that are barely cars. <laughs> yeah, I, that, I, that's what I thought yeah, you guys that. were saying. But, and that's a Mercedes? Yeah, well, it was made by Mercedes. Interesting. All right, and so um, what did you end up selling it for? Uh, I think I wound up getting 2000 for it. Okay. And so you leave a deposit, and I mean, in your mind, was she buying it? Oh, yeah, she wanted it. Her and her son, I okay. think she came. They both loved the car. She said she wanted it. She said she couldn't afford it with the insurance, which is understandable. I told her, hey, listen, I'll give you your deposit back after I sell the car. But, but you did sell the car, and you didn't give her any deposit well, back. Well, it's been three months, and, you know, that kind of car is not going to sell in the wintertime. All right, so you lost 500 Yeah. Right, plus your time in having it. So, um, so the appropriate measure of your damages is gonna be what you're out because you have a duty like everybody else to mitigate your damages, and you mm -hmm. did. You sold the car, but you had to take a little hit and you had to advertise it and trouble yourself. I told her. So that's worth <laughs> some. I know, you told her, but then you didn't send her any money back. But you I know, told, I told her. So why are people so into smart cars, these tiny little cars? Well, in Paris, France, for example, you can't park nowhere, so you just gotta have a smart car. Guess where else you can't park nowhere? New York, going inside the card room. I told her, I said, listen, I'll give you a I'll give you a thousand dollars back, and I'll keep five hundred for like my time and everything, and I'll worry about all that. And she didn't want to do that. Oh, that was not wise. <laughs> well, that was because it was only two days. It doesn't matter. It's like you either. It's like being a little bit pregnant. <laughs> no, you either entered a contract or you didn't. You see what I mean? Yeah, and but it doesn't say it's non-refundable. It doesn't have to. Does it say it's refundable? No. Right. The default position when you put, and that's not even a deposit, you put most of the money down. You put three quarters of the money down, what were you thinking? And I then wasn't. you went out to figure out if you could afford it? Well, I didn't realize the insurance was gonna be so high. I understand these are your problems. I get what you are saying, I speak English. What you're not getting is that these are problems that you created. And so he's right, he doesn't have to give you all the money back. You made him lose $500. You're lucky that he's honest and he tells me, yeah, I sold it for $2,000. Half the time, the people on that side say, no, I haven't been able to sell it. And you don't have any information about whether he sold it, so you can't prove otherwise and say goodbye to your deposit. That's how it works. The deposits are for a reason. You're not stupid. You gave him the deposit so he couldn't sell it to anybody else. That's why you gave it to him. You just now want no consequence. Yes. By the time I actually sold the car, I already was getting sued. I already found out I was getting oh, that's sued. That's crazy. The default position on the word deposit is that it's non-refundable. 
The purpose of the deposit is to freeze the other guy so he can't do anything. He can't sell it. What do you think? That that, does, that comes for free? So unless your contract says refundable or your receipt says refundable or your email or text says refundable, okay, you're <clears throat> in trouble. All right. Um, however, there is the other part of the law which says that you have to mitigate your damages. He did. You sold it for 2000 um, did you have to pay for any insurance or anything on the car in because you just you had it stable? Did you have to pay for any advertising costs or you put it on Craigslist? No, I just put free? it on Craigslist. Yeah. So the guy uh, is uh, willing, was willing, and you rejected it to give you a thousand dollars, and that seemed imminently reasonable. And uh, that's what I'm going to order him to pay now: one thousand dollars. Verdict for the plaintiff. Thank you. So the judge awards the plaintiff $1,000 back primarily because you said you'd give her $1,000 back. You know? I'm just trying to be a nice guy. Well, you come off that way. I yeah. am a nice guy. Okay. Well, good for you. You're very <laughs> honest, and you did sell the car for two grand, right? Yeah, I did. Okay. Did you like the car? Why didn't or what? It was awesome. It was awesome. Yeah, I towed my car around the track. You know, it's like a little go-kart. Okay. Can't well, pick up no girls, but... No, well, that's been no good. No, no good. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ms. McDonald... You're lucky. You know, you understand you're lucky? Yes. Yeah, you know, you, you heard about deposit now. You yes, learned a lesson. I learned I think everybody high watching destiny. learned a lesson today, yes. right? Okay. Had he not promised to give you $1,000 back, you might not be getting that. That's true. Okay. Okay. So congratulations. All Thank right. you. What are you going to do about a car now? I'm just going to keep the one I have. Okay. All right. Well, good luck with it. Thank okay. you. Thank all you very right. much. Yep. Right. Thank you. So we all learned a lesson about deposits, right, Harvey? Okay, you know, this happens so much that you can have a totally non-refundable deposit, but it has to be expressly stated as such. Otherwise, if you give money and the other person isn't out, you get the money back.